Good day, fellow investors. Today we'll talk about a very, very important topic, but often not so discussed because it's much more exciting to talk about individual stocks. A subscriber of my stock market research platform was concerned about my portfolio management because I said I will go to only eight stocks and he has a million in his portfolio and he asked the following question. So what I said in my last portfolio transaction was, I think I'll go to max eight positions. After that, I will replace the worst position, depending on business quality and risk reward, when I find something 50% better. So the first question from our subscriber was, to put it simply, if your investable amount right now was 1 million euro instead of 100,000, would you still be looking at max eight positions there's a few of us on your platform that have considerable cash positions to invest. Myself, 1 million Australian dollars, all self-made from zero in eight years on real estate. Little skill, mostly dumb Aussie luck. So on my platform, I have two portfolios, the 100,000 lump sum portfolio that is a fixed amount where the goal is to maximize return based risk reward, of course. And the other is a 10, portfolio that I started almost a year ago where I add 1000 per month. So two portfolios, this is the lump sum, so really focused on risk reward and the part when I add the money is a little bit less focused on risk because I add constantly money so I know I will play the game tomorrow. Back to the question, yes, whatever would be the amount in the portfolio, I would stick to maximum eight positions because I really believe that diversification, as would Buffett say, is for those who don't understand what they are doing. As I'm a full-time market researcher, I constantly look at markets. I try to really get under the skin of the businesses of the stocks that I invest. I think, and it has been working really well over the past 17, 18 years for me, I really believe that I can find good, and better risk reward investments and I can focus my money in the top eight, which includes deep analysis, which includes waiting for those to hit the right price, entry price. Usually that implies a 15% business returns no matter what happens in the market, in the sector over the long run. And if I would go to 20, 30 stocks, that would simply dilute the best returns that I hope to achieve with the best stocks. For now, I have been successful in doing that. So I think that by continuing with what I do, working hard, we can continue that. The 100K portfolio is money that I don't plan to use for the next 20 years. So really focused on stock market investing. And secondly, it is so important for me because I'm building a track record. And if over the next five, 10 years, I really show, okay, this strategy of value investing, of waiting patiently for opportunities, going there where others don't want to go, delivers 15 plus returns per year over five, 10 years, then whatever I will be doing will be easy. So the value for me personally is much more than 100K. It's a billion of over a lifetime because if I deliver on what I'm doing, I will be a billionaire over the long term. I'll still, I'm still young, so I have the time to work on that. Going to the next question, this in turn may be a result of choosing not to manage outside money. Your risk reward relationship with your own capital has now evolved. Now, it's not my own capital. It is simply that I really want to focus on research, which will be the base of an investment fund that I might start down the road, one, two, five, ten years from now, when I have completed my research. Why I'm not, I'm not starting a fund now, even if I had a lot of questions and a lot of interest about it, is that if I man would manage, let's say, a $13 million portfolio, I would have to be with the client on a phone call every week, every 3% move in the portfolio, uh, complete portfolio checking after every month, because after all, it's their money. So I'm working for them. Now I can really focus on the portfolio research, working on building that risk and reward, maximizing the reward for as little risk as possible or balancing that risk in the portfolio. 
as my focus is on that, I am unbiased, I'm not influenced by other people, so I'm really independent. And I think that's the focus for good long-term investment, like Warren Buffett had owning Berkshire. So I might not even start a fund, I might launch a small Berkshire, get to 100 million in starting capital, talk to clients just once a year on a nice conference, and in the meantime, just build, build, compounding that value. So I'm still not decided on that. So it's still difficult to grasp for our subscriber. And this raises an interesting question. Will you continue to track previous lump sum positions you have moved out of, as I will have only eight positions max? If the answer is yes, just stop reading. So it's clear that the person here doesn't want to risk only of eight stocks. He wants a 20, 30 percent, 20, 30 position portfolio. So if I will track that, OK. The question here is, OK, am I going to continue to track everything? Yes, my goal is to track 100 stocks and of those 100, then be invested in the best eight at that moment in time, replacing, switching, whatever needs, depending on the risk reward. I'm going to follow also 100 stocks, so I'm going to continue to cover those that I get out and then get back in or so, because I always want to get back in if the price allows that. So even if somebody wants to have 20, 30 positions in such a big 1 million, let's say, lump sum portfolio, you can do that. You can do that based on my research. But I really believe that the focus with less positions will be to maximize return in relation to the risk and that if you go owning 20 stocks, you're actually increasing the risk because stock number 17 cannot be as good as stock number three. So if you have 3% or 5% in stock number three and 2% in stock number 17, I simply prefer 5 or 10% or 15% in stock number three because it's simply risk reward and there aren't that many good investments out there. By the way, if you want to see all my portfolios, there is my stock market research platform, link in the description below, 28 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. So you can check all my positions, all my research, see whether that fits your investment style or not. And then if not, ask your money back. If yes, we're going to build a compounding machine over your and our lifetimes. For a question on risk and reward in the current market. So for whatever reason, your risk reward has been skewed further in favor of reward and thus might begin to diverge from my own. As I'm already 60% invested in this market, as I have found six investments since we started the lump sum portfolio, I think the investor here thinks that I have been chasing risk. And here it comes to very delicate situation. I see risks everywhere. Cash is not a risk, is a certainty of permanent capital loss because cash due to inflation loses value constantly. So I have to be invested. There are opportunity costs. Even if I wait for a crisis, I don't know when it will come. So I'm really focused. Okay, when you find value that fits a good risk reward, 15% yield, you buy it. And then you manage the position lately. If it goes down, you're happy because you can buy more. If it goes up, you see, okay, should I buy something else or not? So that's the point. Stocks, individual stocks are very volatile over a year. The market, not so much, but stocks are. So there are plenty of opportunities waiting for those opportunities to arise and then buying, let's say when there is blood on the streets, but when you see value on the streets too. So. Depending, I um, don't know where will my portfolio be in six months. Um, it depends on what will the market offer to me. If the market offers me another two, three bargains and then my stocks drop, I will simply buy more because I'm pretty sure about what I am buying. Plus, the portfolio is well diversified on a global scale, a little bit focused on emerging markets, but there are some defensive stocks. So. Anything that happens can be balanced out between there. Some stocks go up and down. Uh, some stocks is already, what, 30% up. So I might trim that to buy something else and things like that. So the basis of everything is value. If we can find a value that usually puts a bottom to permanent capital loss, volatility is something you have to accept, not as a risk, but as opportunity. Volatility is not risk, even if academics say so. Risk is, okay, 
this business is going down or the business will not deliver the returns we expected, risk is permanent capital loss, permanent volatility is not risk. And when you look at that, I really believe eight positions, sharp focus, and then you can achieve more than the market. If you dilute yourself, spread yourself on more positions, then you are more likely to be like the market if you are not a money-making machine like Peter Lynch. But what Lynch did on 100 stocks, 50 stocks, one can also make on 8, 9, 10 stocks. But those were other times, let's say. So thank you for watching. I'm really looking forward to your comments on this. How do you feel? There is always the part of personal portfolio, risk reward, uh, what is your personal connection? Because at the end, money managing is always personal. It's not something abstract, it's personal because it's your money, it's your life, it's your portfolio. And each of us has a different perception of risk. Thank you for watching, looking forward to your comments, check the platform if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.